That's the state house. State workers and legislators feeling some relief after that three day long state government shutdown comes to an end. Lawmakers did agree to boost education spending by $162 million. That's far less than the estimated $320 million that would have been raised perhaps under the 3% surcharge on wealthier Mainers. That was approved by voters last fall. That tax a casualty of the budget negotiating process. So was a proposed hike in the lodging tax. Much of the new education spending will come from the anticipated revenue over the next two years based on a belief that the economy will stay strong. Money will also come from taxing online sales, things like Amazon, and from collecting taxes on Airbnb and uh, retail marijuana sales when that becomes legal as well next year. The state begins this new biennium with just about $10 million of un. Uh, of anticipated revenue unspent, excuse me. And Governor LePage says he's not too happy about that increased education spending. We paid $162 million ransom for a phony tax bill. Hmm. And that's why this lodging bill had to go. Because the $162 million, we emptied the war chest on everything else in the state to take care of education, and we're getting a subpar system. And now we got some reforms, and you watch me go the next year. They're going to be some hell to pay in education. Now, LePage pushed for education reforms and has for many years, including cutting administrative costs. Still, both sides are claiming some wins with this. Lee Goldberg has more on that. We just sat down and said, we need to absolutely reopen state government. Here's what I need. Here's what you're looking for. Let's get this done. In the early hours of the morning, officially on the 4th of July, the first state government shutdown in 26 years came to an end after three days. Shutdown is over. The budget is passed. Go home and get some sleep and enjoy the 4th of July. Look, I think we knew that we were at this place where we couldn't let this one question, this $21 million tax question, stay in, in our way and keep government shut down. That $21 million represented a proposed 1.5% increase in the lodging tax and was a major sticking point in negotiations, even though it only accounted for 0.29% of the total budget. Now, the budget also eliminates the controversial 3% tax surcharge on income over $200,000. Voters had approved that back in November. I think that Maine people will be better off without that 3% uh, tax and be in the highest state in the nation. And we also think Maine people will be better off not having a higher lodging tax. This bill has been passed to be enacted as an emergency measure. In exchange for the tax concessions, an additional $1.15 million will be earmarked for the Head Start preschool program and will delay cuts for two years involving the Maine Care Behavioral Health Program. All right, that's Lee Goldberg reporting. Now, most lawmakers are almost done for the year. The Appropriations Committee will meet in the next few days to go over all the bills passed that need money and decide which ones will receive the cash.